Hello there, my name's Dave Allen. I am good and geeky. And today we're gonna to have a look at Affinity Designer and wanna show how you can make a grid really easily. So here we are on an empty page in Affinity Designer and I wanna create a grid. And let's say I wanna create a grid of squares. So let's uh, choose the square or rectangle tool. And I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna hold down the shift key so that I get a perfect square. And what I want to do to replicate this here and make a grid is I'm going to press the right arrow key four times. One, two, three, four. And you see I've got four going across there. As soon as I let go of the shift key, I left go of the mouse key and then I've got my five uh, squares there. Okay, so I've got the first one I started with and then I've got four rip the four repeats for the number of times I pressed at the... Well, now it's time to hack the YouTube system and to put a like under the video and make a comment if you want to. Go for it. So let's go to this here now and we'll do the same thing again. And I'm going to hold down the shift key to get a square. And then I'm going to do the right arrow key again. I don't know if I put spaces in between there because there's no spaces that actually sort of turn up when you're um, just pressing the arrow key like that. But let's say we want to go downward as well. So I'm going to do three down. As soon as I let go of the mouse, I've got my grid set up there. And then you can do whatever you want within this grid. So that's making the grid. When I've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across. So I press the right arrow key six times. So when I wanted to come down with it, I press the down arrow key by uh, three times. Okay then, so let's... Um, Go on to the next uh, thing you can do with this here. So let's go for a square again. And I'm the shift key down to get my square. I'm going to press the uh, right arrow key three times. And then I'm going to press the down arrow key three times. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some space in between there by holding down the right arrow. And that spaces them out that way. And I can space them out going downwards as well. And then as soon as I let go of the mouse, I've got a grid there. And I've got some space in between. I don't know if there's any way of doing it so that you've got a space of a specific size between these here, um, but you get your grid and it gives you a bit of an idea of how big it's going to be when you're holding down that key. That's kind of good, but it doesn't have to be squares. So let's do Command Z. Let's go into, let's uh, choose something else, like maybe the uh, Star Tool. So we go for the Star Tool and I'm holding it across there now and I'm going to go across and down and then I'm going to uh, hold the down key a bit to put some spaces in between so I'm getting spaces in between there by holding the down arrow so let's hold down the right arrow key and get some spaces going across as well and then as soon as I let go of the mouse button I've got some spaces in between and I've got all my stars all gridded out like that that's kind of cool um, here's a neat little trick as well with these things here. So if I want to take this here and I want to turn it around, then I can do it so that they all turn around all in one go like this. So that's turning all of them around there. And I'll down the shift key down to go in 15 degree increments. Or what I can do is I can use this uh, button up the top here, transform objects separately. And then what I can do is I can choose whichever one I want out of these ones here. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. I'm going to change these all individually so they all turn around at the same time. It gets a bit sort of Busby Berkeley like when it's uh, looking down on something and you're seeing all sorts of things happening there and you're making patterns with it. And it doesn't just uh, work with uh, changing the rotation of it, you can also change the size of it. So if I'm holding down this one here and they're all changing size there as I want it to. So that's kind of cool. So that's um, how to take a grid of items there and to turn them all around and change the size of them individually instead of um, having to go through them one at a time. So if you want them all changed exactly the same, so that's the way to do it. So this is Dave Allen, I'm Good and Geeky, and that's how you can make a grid and how you can change things with all the members of the grid at the same time if you want to, or you can work on the grid as a whole and make changes size-wise and transformation-wise like rotation. So thanks for taking time for watching the video and I hope you've uh, learned something from this with Affinity Designer. Go and have a look at all of the other Affinity Designer videos I've already made. And there'll be more to be made, so don't forget that it's a good idea to subscribe to the channel as well. Bye-bye now.